Mina-san konnichiwa, this is David. This is Mina. And this evening we're going to be redoing a quick review of the SDG Gundam. Um, <laughs> Never has there been a more Trogdor-looking Gundam. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, this is this is full of burnination. <laughs> um, okay, so as you can see, we already have it in its dragon form, um, not in its mobile suit form. Oh. Um I was actually going to put it in its mobile suit form and then take it apart and then put it back together in the dragon form, um, but that is a big hassle. So instead, I'm going to just do it in reverse. Mm. Um, yeah. So this dragon is pretty, but it is very unstable. Um, if you want to get it and pose it in its dragon form, I would strongly consider just fucking gluing it. Yep. Um, we had an earthquake earlier this week. Mm. It was not a big earthquake. No. It was like a Tuesday in Japan earthquake. <laughs> and it was the vice principal of the school size and goes back to his paperwork kind of. <laughs> yes, yes. So we had a we had a little little earthquake and he split in like four places. Mm. He is very bulky. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's not a very practical build. <laughs> but of course, this is a three SD Gundams combined together into a three headed dragon. What do you really? Really want. <laughs> um, yeah, what do you expect? Uh, Bandai can only go so far with its engineering. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, um, okay, I'll show you. The trouble points really are, first off, it comes apart right there. Um, it doesn't stay together very well. There's a ball joint there, comes apart. So that, that right there is two big spots. These head pieces, they will just pop right off. They slip on very easily uh, with that spot right there, that little square. Um, it just goes on there, and they ba like they they technically snap on, but not really. They just sort of lay there. Um, they slide into place, but they're not very stable. Um, this one has problems. It, it actually stays on better, um, but its crest is not very mobile. It's on a ball joint, but the crest is actually a little bit bigger than the um, the horns there and so it doesn't really move and it if you if you have it stable if you have it snug into place you actually can't put it on the head <laughs> it has to be like sort of barely hanging on in order to go onto the head um so that's not that's not great um the stickers are not great the stickers are not wonderful. I don't mind them that much. They do okay eyes. They are they are about on par with your average SD kit. If not, I'd say they're better than your average SD kit. Hmm. Um, but not a lot. Um, we have the three drill pieces. Uh, one of them here is on the back. The drills are actually stickers, and these are these are awful. <laughs> these, these are awful stickers. They're not to very be perfectly good. honest. Yes, they are not very good. Mm -hmm. um, but all things considered, I mean, the SDG Gundam is about one thousand yen. It retails for a thousand yen. I think we picked them up for like seven hundred and fifty yen. Correct. So I really we paid like what twenty two hundred yen. So about about eighteen nineteen dollars. Yeah. For this whole thing. Right. So I mean, it's it's a three headed dragon. What do you want? It, they, if they would have made it any better, it would have like tripled the cost. And I would say it's a fun family build. It is a fun project, yeah. Particularly because you can just hand the the three boxes to three people and tell them build. Right. Um, I know Philomena was building one while I was building one, so it was fun. It was yeah. nice. So if um, you're thinking of building with a little kid or you know somebody who's new to Gundam, yes, this is a great it thing is because you can do it together. It is, and you're both doing the exact same build with slight modifications. Right. Uh, but not big modifications. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see if I can figure this out. I might have to, like, what, not stop motion, speed up the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So first off, these are the shields. Um, there's only, you only need one of them. Um, the right. In fact, all of the weapon pieces, you only need one of them. Right. Um, but all three of them have to go into the combiner dragon. Right. So let's set that aside. Um, of course, the V-fins are the V-fins. They do not, in fact, stay on the dragon heads. Okay. Now, right here we have one of the bodies. <laughs> also doing this without the instructions. So, you know, expect to be Somebody will problems. tell us that the feet are on backwards, and we know. I actually think that the um, the, the legs are very clever, yeah, the way they're that they're cute. put together, because they end up being the teeth. Um, and it's it's wow. kind of like a like a Maurice thing going on. Um, it's it's big. It's um, It's cute. I don't know. 
Um, uh, so we got to turn our feet into place. All right. So here is one of our bodies. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to look up which one goes to which parts. Um, <laughs> because they each have a different chest. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, a, a chest plate that goes onto it mm -hmm. um, that is slightly different for each of them. And they have a different sticker on it. Um, so you can tell them apart. But I don't care. So. <laughs> okay. And then we have one of our heads um, becomes the tail. We're going to pop that off the head. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. And then you swap around these things. The, they're black when they're in the dragon form. And then you just pull them out and flip them. And you have different eyes. Okay. Now we put a V fin on there. Okay. And I need to get the right ball joints to go in there. There's one of those in the tail. All right. And then all of the arms go together to form the arm pieces for the main body. This is so clever. It is. It's, it's actually really well engineered. I sure. love the engineering. Um, I mean, Bandai really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. So as much as I said, you know, the dragon form kind of falls apart and stuff, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's mm -hmm. really well built. Um, it's not a perfect build, but it's it's really fun. Oh, duh. I wasn't putting I missed the shoulder there. Yeah. Okay, so there's our arms. And then he'll, he'll have one of the, those things. And okay, so there's one of our bodies. Cowie. I'll set him over to the side. And then we have one of the others here. And that chest plate just goes on top of the head. I believe there are dra dragons burning in the entertainment room right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love the way that those arms go together. That's really cute. Like, the fist is just really well, well designed. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so there's our second body. Um, and then the head goes on the back there. And it's ball jointed in already, so I don't need to worry about that. Flip, flip the face so it has different eyes. Pop that on. Drop on a V-fin. Okay, and then now we have the second of our three. And this one is going to have the dragon shield. Oh, which actually needs... There's an adapter. And somewhere. where is that? It's on here somewhere. Ah. Oh. I don't know offhand where that goes. I don't know. The adapter for the shield? Yeah, the, there's a little um, there's a little adapter type thing that goes on the shield. Hmm. I don't know what I did with that. <laughs> Oh, it's already on one of them. That's why. Okay, so we get our shield here. And then the shield goes with the spike thing. Wish we were quiet. Spinning spike really. So this yeah. giant claw um, of badassery. Um, or... Adorability. Or you can put it on the back and turn it into sort of a backpack type thing. Mm -hmm. Um Sort of like a faux ale striker. <laughs> but I like it as a claw. It's a little more awesome that way. Mm. Damn it. They're a little finicky. Not much. I'm pretty dry. Yeah. Okay, you stay there. See if I care. <laughs> okay, so he's there. He's there. And then our last one is just right here. Pop off that head. Swap the eyes. Um, what? He doesn't have eyes. Oh, he doesn't have eyes on that part. We were lazy. We. I was lazy. Okay, whatever. 
I did two of them. You did one. I thought I did You're the lazy one. I thought I did kawaii eyes. Maybe you maybe Well, no, I did a, a whole series of them because I wanted to put the black eyes on them for the dragon. Um, so I did the normal eyes on one side and the black eyes on yeah, the other. Yeah, they give you two of the piece, the face pieces. Yes, they so give you two really so you can actually swap them, them out. out. Um, so you basically, you get the kawaii eyes, you get the... Um, you get the black, and then you get shifty eyes either way. Right, and then yeah. just straightforward. So you can just swap out the eye, um, the face plates. That's really nice. Okay, and so this one, um, it's actually already together. It just needs its V-fin. Um, and then we have this cannon. You can hold two cannons. You could hold two. Um, I mean, that's kind of excessive, but, you know. <laughs> Where's the line? He, he is an SD gun that turns into a dragon. <laughs> um, so we have these extra drill bits. We have two extra cannons. Uh, we have two extra claws and two extra dragon head shields. Um, but this is the SDG. They all have big weapons, so they're not very good at balancing. No, but they are very good at being adorable. They are. They're really, really cute. Um, and... There we go. That's that's what they are. I mean, I, I would show you their articulation, but they're SD kits. They're just, <laughs> they're not very articulate. Mm. But they're cute. They're nice. Um, I'm actually going to, I'm thinking about putting them together on a series of bases um, in combat form. So. <laughs> um, but there we go. Mm -hmm. If you like our videos, please like, subscribe, uh, ask us questions, comment, whatever. Um, we, we do, do requests. Yeah, we do requests. And um, matane, everyone. Matane.